I was 14, I ran away from boarding school. My family was dysfunctional at best. They couldn't control me. I couldn't control me. I thumbed my way from Maine to Virginia and back. All kinds of people picked me up. Truckers, drug dealers, Appalachian mountain men. I was scared shitless. I had a very brief stint in a foster home in upstate New York. It's a black stamp in the passport of my memory. My father's passion for fishing and adventure was infectious. It was what I held in common with him, what remained a constant theme through the good times and bad. I gradually channeled my rebellion into fishing, traveling to as many places as I could to burn off whatever it was that was chasing me. And then my dad and I were fishing in Alaska. He got sick with liver failure, cancer. I was 27 years old. I didn't think twice about it. He was the best man I've ever known. I donated more than half of my liver to him. I emerged from the haze of the surgery with this epiphany. I would live someplace where I didn't have to lock my front door, where I could work alongside my passion, and where I could fish. That's part of my story. The rest is about the family I found along the way. This crumbling lighthouse, swallowed by time in the insatiable sea, marks the exact point where the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean meet. It's where a fisherman, and now my brother, a guy named Sam Flea, was raised. In the early 2000s, I was bumming around Mexico, cleaning up trash on beaches in exchange for fishing access. Someone told me about a legendary fisherman on the island of Holbosch. Look for the man with the tarpon tattooed on his back, they said. I showed up late at night. Sam Flea and his wife, Elia, took me in and fed me. The tiny house smelled like salt water. Family and friends were all packed in, swapping stories. Sam Flea's magnetic, overwhelmingly generous and gracious. Every night, there are 10 to 20 people at his house for dinner. I've traveled all over the world, fished with a ton of folks for a lot of different fish. But I have this inexplicable bond with Sam Flea and his family. Hold on, you'll uh, 
When the guys told me that they want to come to Whole Boys to film a movie, I say, okay, no problem, we can do it, we can catch some fish. But the guys told me, no, we want to make a movie about you. Why about me? Because I live in a small island, you know? There's nothing here, you know, just beautiful view, beautiful island, wildlife, but why about me? Holboj is a small island, you know, we are a small village of commercial fishermen. Yeah, Holboj is my home and, and I love to share the people about Holboj to all fishermen, to all friends, you know, share about my, where I live. People come to fish here from the, any part of the country, you know, from the whole world. You know, they fish here and everything, when they live, they are my friends. I've been uh, fishing for 24 years, you know. Look at my, my head, it's shaking yet. I'm so excited, my heart was bumping so fast, you know. This is the life, baby. This is a permit from Holbos I caught years ago. The primary sport fish in Holbos is the tarpon. They used to have bonefish in permit, but unsustainable netting collapsed the population. This is the last place I caught a bonefish in 1998. Mm -hmm. Now all gone, sometimes they arrive, but very, very few. That's the reason we need to take care of our islands, our wildlife, and we need to teach the, all the kids, you know, because they will, take, will, they will ha help us to take care of the whole island here. It's very important to teach the kids about fly fishing because they will take care about the old wildlife that we have here in Holbosch. Oh, the kids, they are living fast, you know, they cut very well. Off the water, Sam flees a dad, a grandfather, the unofficial mayor. On the water, he's truly in his element. He lives to be out there. 
There's a lot you can tell about someone's character when they step onto the polling platform. Some laugh, some yell, some just get quiet. I've learned a lot about what it means to be a quality human being by watching who he is on the water. Fishing with Sanfli is this perfect balance between intensity and humor, passion and motivation. Oh my, are we fishing for monkeys? I'm so excited to be with you in your first day fishing for tarpon. Good. Sip, 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 sip. No. Sip, sip, faster, faster. You... You slow, let, slow, let, slow. Let, yeah, because they're they they going yeah. to leave, baby. They're yeah, I know, there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. You are the master. The master of disaster, baby. Have you guys seen the YouTube video where the guy explains, like, taking the hook out? And he takes, like, a four-aught, and he's just, like, shink, and sinks it into his leg. <laughs> no kidding me. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, huge hook. And then he takes the tip it, and is like, see, this is how you take it out. Oh, my god. You're, you're going to do that tonight, didn't I already tell you? No, I don't think so. No, you, don't, you, don't, you don't get to see it. I just do it. Oh, Mikey. This is the worst cast I saw in all my life. Samfley got scarlet fever as a kid, something we can't imagine this day and age. It weakened his heart. He had his first valve transplant in the 90s, then another. Then the time came for a third. We started a GoFundMe campaign, thinking we'd maybe cover 20% of his health costs, and the response was astounding. One friend put up $100,000 immediately. Watching people rally for him was amazing. People who didn't even know him donated. Sometimes you look at all the negative things happening in the world. Then you see people from all walks of life rally around a single person in need, and it restores your faith in humanity. With all he does for his family and community, we wanted to do the same for him. We got him to the States and got him the best doctors. What do you think? That's not fair, baby. <laughs> they are killing me here. I don't want, I think I don't, I, I don't die here, but my open heart here, I'll be dying, but because they don't fit in me very well. It's gonna be a constant struggle for him, but there's hope. They told him to lose weight, and he did. That's a tough thing for him. He loves his wife's cooking, but they're not exactly on the paleo diet. We love tarpon, but our true obsession lies in the permit. They've been overfished in Sanfley's home area, so we have to travel south to find them. Samfley asked me one time, do you want to meet one of the best permit guides in the world? Of course I said yes. Jose's become another brother to us all. Permit fishing is like life in fast forward. Everything is amplified. The highest highs and the lowest lows. You have to feel good about what you can control, yourself, and what's entirely out of your control the fish and the weather. Permit don't want to be on the flats, but they have to be. The food's too good there. Everything about this fish raises the game, and the devil's in the details. There's no way to get good info on how to do this, except to get out there which means eventually you're going to suffer. And if you haven't, well, you will. It's a pendulum. When it swings your way, you better do everything damn right and feel good about it. Often some of the more memorable days of permit fishing end up without a permit to hand. Parent, parent, nine o'clock, nine o'clock. 
More left, more left, left. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Okay. Strip, strip, strip. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, strip it. Slowly, slowly, baby, slowly. Set it, set it. How many permits have you caught now? 177. Were they all like this big? <laughs> what? <laughs> so all the time my father and my mother, they told me that today for you, tomorrow for me. Last day, last light. It was pretty amazing. Saw a huge school of fish and Sam Flea says you're up even though he was up. There's no arguing, it's just kind of who he is. ready to be done and knows he can't leave. He sure as shit doesn't want to. He's full of life, yet he's on the clock. But then again, we all are. Grandson, my first grandson. His name is Carlos Alejandro. Over the last 15 years, Sam Flea and his family have become a part of my family. Just imagine a guy from New Jersey and another from a tiny island in the Gulf of Mexico. A passion for fishing gave me an extended family and prepared me to create a family of my own. Do I still feel the pull to travel as remote as possible? Of course. That call is always in my soul. But just as strong now is the itch to get home. I have another generation to teach.